Guys, one of the most uh, asked interview questions is the sorting algorithms. So we're going to look into insertion sort, bubble sort, and selection sort. And after that, we're going to have good understanding of the sorting, some of the sorting algorithms, and we're going to compare which one is performing better. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, we have a quick setup. So we, we are having a slice of integers, and we're putting actually 100,000 random items. And the random items is going to be between uh, 0 to 999. And we're going to print the numbers, and then we're going to take the time afterwards, and we're going to use all these sorting algorithms, bubble sort, insertion sort, and selection sort. And then we're going to see the how much it takes for each of them. So let's start from the bubble sort. And if you look into bubble sort, is just uh, comparing each element with the next one. So that's it. If the next element is sm smaller than the previous element, then we just swap it. And yeah, let's actually run this and see how it's going to perform. And it took 13 seconds. I'm going to take this as a note here. And let's go with the insertion, insertion sort. An insertion sort is always starting from the second element of the list and comparing with the previous one. And if the previous one is higher number, then we, we shift it to the right side. We continue doing this till the, either the first element of the element or we see a number which is actually smaller than the current number. We just insert the R element to the left side of the last sh shifted element. So let's, so let's see how it's gonna work. So actually this took much better and this is less than one second. So I'm selection sort is taking the outer loop first element as the lowest number and compares the each element in the list. And if there's any lower number, then we just swap it. And we continue doing this till the last element of the list. And there is this swap operation. So let's run this. So it took three seconds, 3.3 3 seconds. And there is a standard library function, which is actually sorting the integers with the quick sort. Let's see how it's gonna work as well. And this one took nine milliseconds, guys, only nine milliseconds. So I'm gonna put this as well here. As you can see, the which sorting algorithm we are using is quite important. 